everyone, my name is Lucy and I hope you're all having an amazing day. And today I'm wearing my Olaf sweatshirt and um, that is because I'm going to be doing a um, r review of Frozen, the movies uh, Frozen 1 and 2. And um, I figured that I would start off with Frozen 1 because that was the first movie. So, yeah. So, the first thing I wanted to talk about with Frozen 1 is the soundtrack, which is all of the music to it. And uh, I love all of the songs from Frozen 1. Um, my favorite song would probably be um, uh, Let It Go. And I also love um, Love is an Open Door. But um, it's very sad with that um uh, song because Hans, um, turned out to be a bad guy, um, and tried to hurt Anna, but, um, in the end, Kristoff saved her, and then they fell in love, uh, Kristoff and Anna fell in love, which was great, um, and I like Olaf, obviously, because I have this sweatshirt of him, um, because he's just so funny, um, and, I also love Elsa because she is very um, protective of Anna, like all of those years where she didn't know what was going on with her powers because they were getting stronger. She was always um, protective of Anna, like staying away from her to make sure she didn't hurt her anymore because um, whenever they were little, she accidentally... Uh, um, like, did her powers, and it made Anna get hurt, but Anna turned out being okay, um, so, yeah, and then the storyline with the whole movie with, like, eventually Anna, um, and Elsa, and Elsa's coronation of being queen, after the parents died, um, it was nice because Anna and Elsa, like, got time to talk, um, after all of the stuff that they've been through with Elsa being so isolated, kind of like how we are in quarantine right now, um, but, like, we don't have to worry about powers or anything because that's, uh, fantasy or fictional, um, yeah, um, so, but the storyline is, uh, very nice be because I just love Anna and Kristoff so much. Um, they're probably my favorite, um, Disney couple out of all of them, besides Belle and the Beast, um, which I believe his name is Adam, but we're not talking about Breed and the Beast in this video, I guess, so. Um, but anyway, let's start talking about Frozen 2. So, to begin with Frozen 2, I love the soundtrack. I probably love the soundtrack even more than Frozen 1. Like, I, um, love, um, Lost in the Woods. That's a very funny song, and I like how they incorporate, uh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen into it. Um, and, um, I also love Some Things Never Change because, uh, Olaf gets to kind of, like, be a part of the song. Um, and then, uh, I also love all of the songs that Elsa sings. Um, I can't think. There's Into the Unknown, uh, Show Yourself. Oh, I, I also love All, all is Found, which is the song that, um, Elsa and Anna's mom sings to them whenever they're little, um, about Otto Holland. Um, yeah. So, uh... The storyline of Frozen 2, I think, is also better than Frozen 1 because there's just more meaning, uh, like, yeah, more meaning behind it, like, um, like the parents, uh, death, and, like, art, and the happy stuff, like, how they met, um, and how, um, the, their mom protected, um, uh, the father, and that made them, like, get to know each other better and fall in love. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, and I also, like, there's one part, uh, 
towards the end of Frozen 2, where, um, uh, there's a snowman kind of thing of Hans, and, uh, Elsa punches his face. That's funny. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, yeah, those are just my overall reviews of all of the stuff that, um, goes into Frozen 1 and 2. So, if you enjoyed this video and my review of both the movies, uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to see more of my videos, and comment any video suggestions that you have for me, or any, um, movies that you want me to review. Um, and there will be more videos of my pets probably coming up, and then another, uh, video. Um, just a random video. You'll have to see what it is. Um, but I'm probably gonna make it tomorrow. And, uh, post it tomorrow. We'll see about that. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!